Hi everyone, uh, today we are going to discuss that how to find out IPv6 prefix or the subnet ID if you're given an IPv6 address. So, for example, in IPv4, what we did, if we if you remember that there's 32 bit address and in that address we have two parts. So, and and the one part actually represents the network and the second part represents the specific nodes in that network uh, and specific computers. So IPv4, in IPv4 we have subnet mask to indicate that how many number of bits are used in the network portion of the IP address and how many bits are being used in the host portion of the um, IP address. So in this case, for example, if we use this CIDR notation, so that is classless interdomain notation. So this says that within this IPv4 address, these 24 bits are being used to represent the network portion. Okay. But in IPv6, we have actually prefix length, and this prefix length actually will give us the number of bits being used in the network portion. So for example, we have this IPv6 address. So if you remember, these, this is a hexadecimal notation of IPv6, and they are separated, uh, separated by colon sign, and this slash 64 is actually the prefix length. And this prefix length is actually written by putting slash after IPv6 address, and this is represented as P. And the prefix length actually gives us the number of bits in the network portion or the network part of an IPv6 address. For example, in this IPv6 address, this 64 indicates that out of 128 bits, 64 bits are used to represent the network portion of the IPv6 address. Now, for understanding, let's suppose that if you're given IPv6 address and its prefix length, then you have to find out the subnet ID for that IPv6 address. So as a problem, uh, as, 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 a, as a practice, we have been given this IPv6 address and you can see we have this prefix length as well. So now to find out the IPv6 prefix ID or the subnet ID, what we do, so first of all, we need to find out this prefix length, which is 64, and this is the number of bits in network portion. So to find out the subnet ID, what we do, so we copy the first P number of bits, our P number of bits as it is, and change the remaining bits in IPv6 address to zero. So what we do, in this IPv6 address, what we have this, this with respect to this uh, prefix length value, we have to count 64 bits. But remember the IPv6 address is given in hexadecimal digits and one hexa is actually four bits. So to count 64 bits, that will be, it means 64 bits in hexadecimal, so what we do, one hexadecimal digit is actually four bits. It means 64 divided by four. So that will be 16. It means 16 hexadecimal digits. So one, two, four, and then eight, 12, 13, 14, 16. Up to this, so up to these many bits we have to copy as it is. So what we do, we copy them. So this is, yeah, 16, so, so yeah, sorry, up to this, sorry, up to this is 16 becomes here. So this is 16 up to this. So we have copied these all bits are the corresponding hexadecimal digits as it is. And the remaining bits should be zero. So what we have done, so the remaining bits, you can see we have written 0, 0, 0. So what we have done, the network portion has been written as it is, and the host portion or the interface ID portion has been converted to 0, 0, 0 to find out this subnet ID. 
So this is actually the subnet ID from this IPv6 address. And we can actually abbreviate it as well. So if you remember what we can do, we can see that we have some group of zeros. So what we can do, we can use those group of zeros. So these all group of zeros can actually be replaced by the sign of colon colon. If you remember from the basic principles of IPv6 address from our previous video. So this is actually our subnet subnet ID in abbreviated form. So with this rule simple, just copy P number of bits and change the rest of the bits into zero and you will have the subnet ID. So we found out the subnet ID given an IPv6 address. Now just uh, another example, for example, we have been given this IPv6 address and we have to find out the subnet ID. So what we do? To find out the IPv6 prefix or subnet ID, we copy P number of bits. P means prefix length, which is actually 40 in this case. So copy as it is and change the rest into zeros. So this is 40 is the prefix uh, length, which is actually representing the network portion. So what we have to do, we have to take 40 bits. So 40 bits means how many hexadecimal digits so 40 divided by 4 because one digit represents 4 bits. So that will be 10. It means we should count 10 hexadecimal. So one, so this will be 4, this will be 8, and this will be 10. So we need to copy these 10 hexadecimal digits as it is. And the rest of the bits should be 0. And that will be our subnet ID. So finally, this, our, this is our subnet ID. And to write it down in, in abbreviated form, so we can see there is a long a consecutive sequence of zero. So that can be replaced by colon, colon. So what we can do here, so we can just write this. So yes, this is our abbreviated, subnet ID in abbreviated. Form. So here some other thing has also been done. So you can see these leading zeros has also been eliminated as per rule. So these three has been eliminated and this is only A. And remaining all these zeros are actually replaced by this colon colon sign. And this is our abbreviated form of subnet ID. So in this way we can actually find out this subnet ID if we have been given an IPv6 address. So I hope this was a bit helpful for you. And uh, see you in some other IP-related videos.